Greetings friend, this is video three of a three part tutorial series on Sudoku coloring. In this video, I will give you everything you need to know about the 3D Medusa coloring strategy. I'll define what it is, where to look for it in puzzles, and how to use it. Not only will I go through all three elimination rules that you need to know, but I'll also cover the three solving rules, which are so powerful they allow you to solve multiple cells at one time. Puzzle and video links for my examples are in the description below. And with that, it's solving time. All right, let's start with a definition. 3D Medusa strategy is an advanced Sudoku strategy that extends simple coloring with bi-value cells. Okay, I need to explain a couple things before I get into how to do it. One, you're dealing with conjugate pairs. So now you understand, like if we filter out the ones here, you got two ones here in row seven. This is a conjugate pair. Either this is a one. If that's not a one, that'll be a one. So there's only going to be two, right? And then these ones, they're a conjugate pair within the block. There's only two ones, and so they complement each other. And also within column eight, right? There are only two ones in column eight. These are the kind of candidates we want to look for. Conjugate pair also applies to bi-value cells. So right here, I'm filtering all the bi-value cells. Uh, same, same cell right here, one of the six. Is the one's also a conjugate pair with the six because if this is not a one that would be a six so they always work together it's got to be one value or the other that's what you need to keep in mind so this one's a conjugate pair with this one and it's a conjugate pair with the six that's how 3d medusa works uh, the other thing i want to keep in mind is we're going to be using two different colors right each color represents one of the possible solution paths and so if we run into a contradiction with one of the colors then we know the other path, the other color has to be correct. Okay, let's put 3D Medusa into practice. This puzzle is by RockRat0. It's actually named because of that strategy. The name of the puzzle is called Three Sisters, Theno, Uriel, dot, dot, dot. Well, that third sister is probably the most famous one you know. They're the Gorgon sisters, and that famous sister is Medusa. Okay, so you want to use a 3D Medusa in this puzzle now i will tell you this is not the very beginning i've done some candidate eliminations of prior to get to this point because i want to show you quickly uh, how those elimination rules work but go give it a go yourself uh, there's some swordfish there's some x wings or some other strategies you can use continuous discontinuous loops it is quite the solving experience but let's go right here and i'll show you these 3d medusa elimination rules you what do you want to do is you want to pick a cell that has conjugate pair right so it's got this one is conjugate pair with this one right here because there's only two ones in row seven and also it's a conjugate pair with the six so it's a bye bye cell and it has another so that links up to another bye bye cell this is a good starting point for you you want to look for these kind of cells if you're going to do 3d medusa so you're basically going to use your two different colors and they're going to represent the two solve paths so we got we're going to start with the purple right there and then we'll go with the orange and you'll notice this conjugate pair here here and up here okay uh, i'm going to come back to the top up here and explain a little bit about that but i'm not going to do all the 3d medusa up here because i want to focus on getting and showing you the rules as we work down the bottom part of it you'll see how quickly this particular strategy grows all right now we flip back to the purple solve path and you see this six, there's only two sixes in the block, so we can color that on the purple. There's another conjugate pair right here with the two, and with this one, with this one here. And with this six, there's only two sixes across the row, which leads into another bi-value cell, another BVC. Okay, we can't do these ones, because even though they see this one, there's three of them, right? So we're not going to use that in the 3D Medusa, because that's not going to lead to the solve pass that we are evaluating. Okay, after doing that, we're going to switch back to the orange. And the other thing is, so you got this five here. There's two sixes in block nine. So we can do the two sixes just like it fed off of that six right there. There's no other sixes here, so we can't make extra eliminations. This one goes with this three. We can't do these other ones. And this five, now we can flip back. And as soon as I can get my color to coordinate with me. All right. 
five right there and you also notice this five shoots up here as well again i'm not going to start doing the medusa part up on the top i just want to focus on these bottom three rows as i'm going through this okay so this five now we can swap over and go okay time to get with the seven with this five over here Anything else with the sixes? No. And also those fives? No. And then this three, there's actually a swap we can do with the three right there. So I do want to mark that. So you always, you're going to look within all the BVCs and you're going to look across for other conjugate pairs. So within the BVC, I know I can do that right there. And then if I look up here, I could put a five right there as well. But I'm not concerned myself with those top six rows right now. Okay. And now... Sixes got the sevens, one, I got these two threes. And now we're going to swap again. And go, okay, there's only two sevens there. Awesome. And then we can uh, now switch over to this purple here and get close to what we're going to do that first strategy that I wanted to show you here. Focus on this cell right here. You might notice there's a two in the cell. It has a colored six, uh, orange six in the cell, and it sees a purple two. So this leads us up to our first rule. First rule is this. If an uncolored candidate can see a colored candidate elsewhere, it shares a house. And opposite colored candidates in its own cell, it can be removed. And why is that? Well, the reason is it's similar to how alternate inference chain type two work, is that we know that the solution path either contains this six, and so that can't be a two, or it's purple, and this two would be a solution, and this can't be a two. So either way, you can eliminate a two from right there. So that's the first elimination rule, and that's pretty handy. Now, once you do the elimination, you can continue on and do a little bit more of the Medusa solving here. So we know that this can be a seven because the conjugate pair. We can do that in the purple. And then now there's only two twos in the block. And so now we can swap over and call this as a two, because there's only two twos here now. And this leads us up to our second rule. All right, so our second elimination rule here. If both colors appear in a cell, then all other candidates cannot be the solution to that cell. So we know the solution path, here is the purple one is the correct one, or the orange one. Since the seven is not part of either one, that can be eliminated. That can never be the solution to the cell because you'd end up breaking both of our possible solution paths. Awesome. All right. So that was our second elimination rule. And now we're going to bring you up to our third elimination rule. And that deals with these two sevens right here. The third elimination rule is similar to what I've showed you in the other coloring tutorials. If you if both colors share the same house, you can eliminate all other candidates in that house. So we know that you know, one of these sevens has to be the correct solution, the orange or the purple. And so it sees all these other sevens going up, column seven. So you can eliminate those sevens. They cannot be the solution. So those are the three elimination rules that I just showed you. If you want more fun with this puzzle, then I suggest you go up here and start working three Medusa across the top or in the middle. And trust me, you'll get a lot of practice with 3D Medusa and eliminations with this great puzzle. And before we move on to the powerful solving rules, I do want to let you know that Rock Rat Zero was one of my featured setters and did a puzzle pack for me. And he made amazing exclusive content. If you want to receive exclusive puzzle packs from awesome setters like this, click on the pink comment below to join the Smarty Party. Now let's move on to the next example. Okay, for our next example, we're going to get into how you can solve multiple cells at one time. All right, this is from the Sudoku Wiki. This puzzle shows and highlights this particular rule, and I got all of these rules for 3 Medusa from that wiki. It's in the description below if you want the link to it. What you want to do right here is start your 3D Medusa, and I'll get to the point where we have the contradiction. So let's start up here in this cell right here. So all right, we got a 3. And then we're going to work our way and go, okay, you know, that's going to be the uh, conjugate there. And it's going to be a conjugate down there. Let's go to our nine right there. Any other nines? There's only one other nine. So I can do that as a nine. Uh, and we got one other nine here in the block. 
All right, we're going to swap over. And you see how I'm, I'm just looking. Okay, this 9 kind of gets right there and there. All right, so let's swap back over to the purples. And we notice there's only one out of three across row 9. So we can do that. And then look up these 4s. we got one of the 4 over here. That's important. Now we're going to look and swap again and go, okay, got a 4 right there. Um, and we also, with the 3s, there's only one other 3, so we can mark that 3. Flip over again. We know that's going to be a purple 1 because that's a conjugate. I want to make sure I get this for the 4 as well. And now we flip over. You notice this one, there's only one other one in column two. So now that is in orange. Okay, so this brings us up to our first solving rule. If two candidates in a cell have the same color, all of that color can be removed and the opposite color are all solutions. So what we notice is that the if we follow the orange solve path, you'd have to have two solutions here, one and three in this cell, and that can't happen. So we know all of the orange can be eliminated and we can solve all these cells for the purple. So what we know is now this has to be a three, that's a nine, that's a nine, that's a three, that's a nine, that's a four, that's a four, and that's a one. And we can move our, through this puzzle pretty quickly. Awesome, this is a powerful rule. And this reminds me of another puzzle I did that uses coloring. I'll put a link to it at the end. You do wanna check that out. And while you're at it, subscribe to Smart Hobbies if you want to solve Sudoku using coloring even better. Now let's move on to our next example. All right, for our next example, and I love this, you can use 3D Medusa to figure out any puzzle where you end up with a bug plus one situation. So this is from one of my previous solves. I got to this situation. You notice there's all by value cells plus one cell right here that contains three candidates. So this is a by value universal grade plus one bug plus one. Well, bug plus one, the theory bases on if the puzzle has to have a unique solution, you can do a pretty quick way to solve it. But if you want to validate and know exactly which solve path is the correct one, you can apply 3D Medusa to this puzzle. And I'll show you that. And it's very fun because you end up solving all the cells uh, as soon as you figure out what you do. So what you're looking for is you're going to keep coloring until you get a contradiction. So if we start up here, two, and we start making our Medusa grow, right? All right, we got the twos there, twos there, there. Look for our conjugate pairs. I'll try to get back to the three, three, got the two right there. All right, looking good. And with this two, that two is going to be a purple one. Okay. And we go over here to the three. And this two is going to be orange. That's going to be orange. Come up here to this two. And you see, you just kind of work your way through this puzzle pretty quickly. And you know it's all by value cells, so it's going to go by pretty fast as far as the coloring bit of it goes. Okay, so this two is orange, just has to be purple. And you can't mark over there just yet because you got three twos along the row. And that's important to know. You, it's like you can't mark upwards yet, but we can get this three right there. And then what else can we do? We can do this one in the purple before I swap over now to the orange. You go, okay, we can get that one. With this four, we can get this four. All right, with this one, we can get this one over here. Okay, so the one and four, those are different cut. They're different candidates, same color. That's not a problem. This four, we got this four right here. All right, swap back over. And that's one, and that's a four. With this four, this has got to be a four. And then we can go over here to this two and go to this four. All right, so we want to come back and focus on this. You probably notice we have an orange two here and an orange two there. So that brings us to our second solving rule. If two of the same color can appear in the same house, then all that color can be removed and the opposite color are all solutions. So now we know there's a contradiction in the orange solving path because you'd have, a, have, have to have a two here and here. So we know we can solve all these cells for the purple. All right, so... I, Eliminate that, and you know that's going to be the three, that's going to be four, that's the two, that's the three, that's the two. 
and you quickly solve this puzzle and you know exactly which uh, is the solution to each of those cells. I thought it was really cool. You can always apply three Medusa to bug plus one. You can actually always apply it to remote pairs as well. Just like you can do it simple coloring and multicoloring. It always works with remote pairs. Okay, let's move on to our last example. All right, for our last example, this is also from the Sudoku Wiki. This is pretty cool because it's going to be a great solving rule that applies. And it's the last one I needed to show you about 3D Medusa. So if we start over here in this cell and we make the one purple and the two and the conjugates to the one, the orange, you can notice that there's only one other one across the way. And then there's only one, one other one down the column, but there's two other ones in the block, so I can't mark that. Flipping over, two other twos, so I can't mark that two, but I can mark this two. Multiple twos there. But this one, there's only one other one right there. I can flip over and get that two. Awesome. Okay, then we need to head back down over here and flip over and find. There's only one other one across row seven, which will allow us to start looking at these fives now. Okay. And then we can flip over and look at the five. There's only one other five up that column, one five right there. Nice. And now we couldn't go from this to the, go to this two and go down here, but because of the connection with the one five here, we can now. that to find that two and we go over to this five and this leads us up to our last and crucial rule here last solving rule any color that eliminates all the possible candidates within a cell cannot be the solution to the puzzle so any color that eliminates every candidate within a cell that color can't be the solution so if you look right here you have a two and a five in this cell all right and you have an orange two looking at it from row three and a orange five looking at it from column one. So that means that if orange was solution, you'd have a two here, a five there, and you'd have nothing in this cell. And we know that can't be the case. So what you can do is immediately solve for the other color. So now we know that the purple is the right solve path. So you can solve all of those cells right away. And it'll help you get through the rest of this puzzle. Congratulations. You now know how to solve Sudoku puzzles even better using simple coloring, multicoloring, and 3D Medusa. Continue practicing by checking out this other video which requires Sudoku coloring. I do want to thank Rock Rat Zero for giving me the three sisters puzzle that I featured in this tutorial. And I want to thank you so much for watching.